Hi guys. Okay, so to wrap up this lesson, we have um, gone through the whole cup situation. Is it proportional or not? Um, and then here we're gonna graph. Here you have graphed it, hopefully. And uh, it kind of gives you the answer right here. What are some ways you can tell that the number of cups is not proportional? So that's your answer to the stacking cup problem on um, slide number six. And then uh, your graph should intersect the y-axis down at about seven, and then be like a line slanting up and to the right from there. Then just to sort of wrap up this lesson, how can we tell if a linear relationship is proportional or not? Um, if it's proportional, it'll be a straight line and it will pass through zero, zero. There are other relationships that are straight lines. Those are called linear relationships and they don't pass through zero, zero. A proportional relationship is a special kind of linear relationship, kind of like how a square is a special kind of rectangle or a, um, an equilateral triangle is a special kind of triangle. Uh, proportional relationship is like a category underneath the umbrella of linear relationships. So you can tell from the graph if it passes through zero, zero. You can tell from the table if you can get to zero, zero um, by adding or subtracting a constant number, um, or if you divide y divided by x and it equals the same value every time, then it will be proportional. Um, in this situation, if you were to create a table of the cup number of cups and the number of centimeters, it would not always divide out to be the same thing. From the context, you gotta think about like, am I starting with anything? Am I starting with, uh, with anything? Like if I'm not starting with anything, then that's like representing the point zero, zero. But if I have a starting rate or a starting amount or a starting value that I'm starting with in the situation, and then I'm going to be adding or subtracting um, to or from that amount, then it is linear and not proportional. So an example might be like, if you are getting in a taxi or an Uber, and they're going to charge you a flat rate of like $5 plus some dollar amount per mile. Or if you already have $25 in your bank account, and now you got a job, so you're going to be adding like 10 more dollars every week because you're going to babysit for an hour a week, then that is not considered a proportional relationship because you already had something to start with. You weren't starting from zero. What does the rate of change of a linear relationship tell us? That is the slope of the line. The rate of change is the slope of the line. And the next slide here just describes is a like a glossary entry for what a linear relationship is. So please make sure you read that, take a look at the graph. Um, this will just help you understand what linear relationships are. So the next thing you need to do is to get onto the Google Classroom and do the cool down. The cool down is going to tell us, did you meet this learning target? I can find the rate of change of a linear relationship by figuring out the slope of the line representing the relationship. And then your um, down would look like this over on Google Classroom.